side. Don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I show you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, it's almost time for Trailer Park Christmas. There's only 16 more days. And if you go to my website, trailerparkchristmas.com, you can download a calendar and you can keep track of all the videos that I'm releasing every day until the 25th. And if I look right here, it says Crazy for Cranberry. And that's what today's show is. And you know, the cranberry, you can get it fresh or frozen or even dried these days. And it really is a great little, I guess it's a fruit. I, it might be something different. I don't know. Those things with little pits in the middle of them, sometimes they're not fruits. I don't know. But it's real great, and it makes a great cake today. We're going to be making a cake out of these cranberries that's great for coffee on a cold winter night. And they sure do look pretty in the cake, too. Now, I know you've had cranberries before. Some people even string them for Christmas trees. And when I used to do that, I used to string enough for a bracelet. That's about it. I got tired of that. But I think you'll like my cake a whole lot better than making cranberries decorations. So up next, I'm going to show you how to make my cranberry cake up on the 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be right back. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my cranberry cake is really simple for the holidays. And I know some of y'all out there love the holiday treats, but can't have all the sugar. And I know some of y'all can't have the sugar. And I know you watch my shows and dream about it. And you know, I've never really used anything natural. So I'm going to go ahead and sound the alarm. Because today I'm actually using something natural. And my friends at Stevia and the Raw from the makers of Sugar and the Raw sent me this. And this is called the, the Cup for a Cup. It measures just like sugar. And it's a, an extract from Stevia that is actually the, actually it looks just like sugar to me. And it measures out just like um, sugar in itself. And I've measured it out, and we're going to be using this today, so it's going to be lower in sugar today. And it actually measures out just as much with the sugar, too. So we actually need two cups of sugar for our actual cranberry cake today. And if you want to use the sugar, you can use the two cups of sugar. But today we're using the stevia in the raw. And I've got two cups of that because it measures out just like the sugar. And I've got three eggs in my mixer right here. And I'm just going to pour that in there. So the stevia and the raw and the eggs go right on in there. Or the sugar if that's what you were using. And this is light, light and airy. So we're going to turn that on just a little bit. Very slow. And mix that around with the eggs and the stevia and the raw. Now you're going to add 3 4 cup of softened butter. I've got that ready right here. And we're going to just get that all creamed together. So go ahead and put that into the bowl. Just push that on in there. Woo! It's going to fling out just a little bit. And we're going to cream that together just a little bit. After about two minutes of mixing, you're going to add one teaspoon of almond extract to it. So let's go ahead and add that one teaspoon almond extract right on into the bowl and just mix that around just a little bit. Now you're going to slowly mix in two cups of all-purpose flour in there. So let's just go ahead and do that. Once you have your dough mixture, add two cups of the fresh cranberries into your dough mixture. You're also going to add two-thirds cups of pecans right on in there, too. So go ahead and give that a stir around. Look at that. The mixture looks just like the holiday with cranberries and the pecans 
and it sure is pretty and it's gonna bake down into a nice cake and we're gonna need a 13 by 9 baking pan which we're gonna spray down with a baking spray just like that um, you need it greased with that and we preheated the oven to 350 degrees too so we're gonna spread this mixture out into the pan and get that ready there we go. This is one that you might have to fidget with and actually use your fingers to press it on out into the baking pan. We're going to pop this into our oven at 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. Use the toothpick test to make sure that it is done. So let's go ahead and pop that in our oven now. Set your timer. Welcome back. Time is ticking down to the end of 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas, but you're ready because I'm bringing you a video every day until the 25th to make your holiday bright. And I've got this great cranberry cake that we made today, and look at that with the berries and the nuts. And we used the stevia and the raw today, and you can use the regular sugar, but this is great for someone that might be on a low sugar diet. And I'm not a doctor, so you're going to have to look into all that. But it sure is a great cake with coffee or maybe some hot chocolate. You can make a glaze for it, too. I'll have a glaze up on my website, trailerparkchristmas.com, which you can also download the calendar so you'll know what video is coming up for the next day, too. But I can't wait to try this. Mmm. I taste the cranberries and the nuts and... It sure is, and sweet too with that stevia and the raw uh, with that. It's a lower sugar type product. Um, it's not even sugar in that with that extra two cups of sugar which it normally would have. You could use that and it would taste uh, just the same or mostly the same. I mean, sugar is great. We use it all the time here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. Mmm, this is really great. I hope you get a chance to make it. And if you do, Send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And I have a great icing recipe for you up on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com. That's where you can get your 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas calendar too. So you can keep track of all the videos that are going up each day till the 25th. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see y'all back real soon. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Is it my store at jolinesugarbaker.com?